Hey everybody, hope you had a good Monday. I'm Fox 61 meteorologist Ryan Brett, and we have some good weather here in southern New England the next several days. A couple of isolated downpours this evening, but those are coming to an end. We are in for both a seasonal stretch of weather and a dry one. A lot of you may be wondering about Ian, but it is, it is a big question mark. Uh, will its leftover rain even make it here? It's not in any hurry to, and it's possible a lot of that moisture goes to our south. We'll keep an eye on it all week long. For us locally tonight, an isolated shower, otherwise partly to mostly cloudy, with temperatures dropping into the 50s overnight. So we'll have some cloud cover to start Tuesday morning. A bit gray for a while, but I think the afternoon will turn out to be sunny and pleasant with temperatures back up into the lower 70s Tuesday afternoon. A high temperature of 73 in Hartford and New Haven, 71 from the quiet corner down into southeast Connecticut, and only about 68 in the Litchfield Hills in Torrington. So we'll show you this hour by hour, some cloud cover coming in for Tuesday morning, giving way to sunshine. So really nice Tuesday afternoon. And we keep the nice weather going into the middle of the week. That's because this big area of high pressure is going to be sliding east. It will do two things. It'll keep us high and dry, but also help slow down Hurricane Ian, which obviously is not good news for Florida in that it won't be just flying through. It will be very slowly moving through Florida as we get into the middle and end of the week. And look at the map as we get into Saturday. Even at this point, the area of high pressure is still nearby, and that may hold a lot of the moisture to our south. So we're really not sure yet how much, if any of this, will make it into southern New England. So for now, our weekend forecast brings some clouds in, but not much rain. We'll just have to follow this. If it does come farther north, we could get into some rain over the upcoming weekend, uh, but that's certainly not a guarantee. Ian now up to Category 2 status as of the 5 o'clock advisory Monday afternoon with winds to 100 miles per hour. It is expected to strengthen into a major Category 4 hurricane in the next day or two, and then its path really targets the Tampa area. And the reason why this is a big concern is because the wind comes in out of the east and southeast on the right hand side of the storm center. And that could potentially put Tampa in a bad spot for storm surge flooding in addition to heavy rainfall and wind as well. So uh, we will be updating you on this all week long, but notice how it slows down as it moves through central and north Florida. It does not look like Ian will be in a hurry to get out of there. So here's your next seven day forecast. Uh, 73 on the shoreline for Tuesday with clouds giving way to sunshine. Very pleasant middle of the week, a little bit cooler for Thursday and Friday. And then for the upcoming weekend right now, we'll add some clouds to the forecast. We'll just have to see whether or not any of that rain can make it north into southern New England.